when I was 18, I eloped. He, oh. he was way senior than me. I was disowned by my family. बाद में बहुत जल्दी रियलाइज हुआ कि बहुत बड़ी गलती की है। घर पे कॉल करती थी मेरा वास सुनके फोन रख देते थे। It was very heartbreaking. You know, it was tough. Those six months were very tough. You know, मैंने जो किया वो किया। अब मैं कुछ करके दिखाऊंगी आपको। My family said, एक तो तूने भाग के शादी की है। आप पांच साल हुए हैं, अब तुझे डिवोर्स लेना है। लोग क्या कहेंगे? You know, there were some factors. किया तभी, and then as soon as we got back together, that's when I got pregnant. I was running the house. My my husband did not have a job. It it hasn't been an easy ride. And then when we came here. Life had to start all oh. over again. I'm going to give this one year. I'm doing this to put my foot back in the industry. I, I told him, uh, let's just get separated. Let's file for divorce. The journey here has not been easy. It's been a very difficult journey. You know, I've, I've had to cross... Sorry. <laughs> you know, there has been a lot of moments where I've broken down. Your biggest fear would be, if I have something happened, nobody would even know till nobody they're trying to contact me. One thing I would like to tell the listeners is, if you do not love yourself, you cannot love others. So, begin with yourself. मुझे बहुत ही ताजुब होता है जब लोग कहते हैं कि लुक एट यू तुम्हें तो हर चीज़ करने की आज़ादी दे दी हमने हमारे टाइम पे तो हमें अपनी मर्जी से शादी भी नहीं करने दी जाती थी एटलीस्ट तुम्हारे पास ये फ्रीडम है आज की डेट में तुम अपना करियर भी चूज कर सकती हो वी आर गिविंग यू इक्वल राइट्स जस्ट लाइक अ मैन अरे मुझे एक बात बताइए जो फंडामेंटल राइट्स हमें फ्रॉम बर्थ मिली हैं वो आप हमें खैरात में कैसे दे सकते हैं अगर आपको लग रहा है कि मेरे ओपिनियंस बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग हैं एंड हैव एन एटीट्यूड इन माय टॉक लेट मी टेल यू स्ट्रॉन्ग वुमेन डू नॉट हैव एन एटीट्यूड दे हैव स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड टुडे विद मी हैव अ ब्यूटिफुल लेडी हु इज नॉट जस्ट अ वुमेन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड बट ऑल्सो बोल्ड एंड ब्यूटिफुल नॉट जस्ट बाई लुक्स but by her choices presenting a very beautiful rashida khan ji who's right here with me chaliye saath mein unka swagat karte hain aur jante hain ki life mein unke choices aur unke opinions kitne logo ko acche lage aur kitne logo ko mirchi lagi <laughs> welcome to the show thank you how are you i'm doing good really happy to be here today I am happy as well. Uh, Rashida Khan ji, आप तो अपने नाम में ही जी लेकर आती हैं इज्जत से पैदा हुए हैं इज्जत से रहेंगे क्या बात है सो बिफोर वी वर एक्चुअली टॉकिंग हाँ इन्होंने मुझसे ये कहा इज दैट शी इज बिन अ रिबेल किस तरीके की रिबेल कैन यू एलेबरेट ऑन दैट वेल बचपन से छोटी उम्र से जो करना होता था लाइक वट एवर आई हैव बीन वॉन्टिंग टू डू आई डू इट Uh, फिर दुनिया इधर की उधर हो जाए डजेंट मैटर टू मी अगर मैंने थान लिए कि मुझे कुछ करना है yeah. मतलब मैं करूँगी आई फाइंड अ वे टू डू इट एंड द बिगेस्ट एग्जाम्पल आई कैन से इज वन आई वॉज एटीन आई लोप्ड एंड आई गॉट मैरिड आई वॉज रियली यंग अभी तो पढ़ाई भी पूरी नहीं हुई थी और घर से भाग के शादी कर दी एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कुछ पच्चीस साल पहले की बात है तो तभी तो और भी बड़ी बात थी so you know but you always took a step a leap of faith leap of faith and uh, you know what uh, agar i've always believed in manifesting to agar mujhe kuch karna hai main sochti hu mujhe mujhe ye chahiye mujhe ye chahiye ye hoga you know think positive and positive will so come you to you so you believe that world is conspiring somehow absolutely when, you, when you're saying something positive of course yeah but you also believe agar hum kuch negative kehte hain उसका भी कनेक्शन होता है होता है सम हाउ वी अट्रैक्ट दैट यस यस डेफिनेटली होता है बिकॉज इसलिए तो बोलते हैं ना कि थिंक पॉजिटिव स्पीक पॉजिटिव एंड वट एवर यू पुट आउट देयर इन द वर्ल्ड इट्स गोन कम बैक टू यू कम बैक सो यू नो नेगेटिव मत सोचो नेगेटिव मत बोलो सोच जरूर आएंगे नेगेटिव आई मीन वर ह्यूमन एट द एंड ऑफ द डे तो यू नो इट्स नॉर्मल कि समटाइम्स यू आर डाउन और समटाइम्स यू नो यू यू माइट नेगेटिव थॉट्स माइट कम इन योर माइंड बट इट्स गुड टू ब्रश दम ऑफ 
Mm-hmm. And let them pass, and you know, keep yourself, get yourself busy with something else. That's a very beautiful thought, yeah. uh, Rashida. You have been a big name in the industry, beauty industry, per se, and uh, you work with different big brands. You're a known face, but who is Rashida Khan? G. कहाँ से आप belong करती हैं? आपकी पैदाइश कहाँ पे हुई है? जन्म कहाँ पे हुआ है? Their Canada, how, how, everything, whatever happened, would you like to share? Lead us. Okay, actually. that's a long story, but um, I'll I'll tell you. So, I was born in Dubai. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, my uh, I was the third generation in Dubai. Mm-hmm. So my grandfather was there. Then my father was in Dubai. You know, after he got married, he took my mom to Dubai. Um, I, along with my other two siblings, we were all born in Dubai. My son is born in Dubai. So we've been like Dubai is pretty much home to us. But originally, my family is from Mumbai. My mom was Mumbai. born in Mumbai. Yes. So. ये कौन से साल की बात हम कर रहे हैं? Because Ma- I'm sure the last time you must have visited, अब आपको मुंबई बहुत ही अलग है. Yes, I was there four years back. You know, COVID के पहले ही मुंबई गई थी. बहुत अलग लगा था. Huh. So I was born in Dubai. Mm-hmm. You know, my parents, my mom, she she thought that education at that time, अभी की अभी तो it's completely different in Dubai. But at that time, she said, you know, बच्चे इंडिया में पढ़ेंगे तो it'll be better. The education in India is better. हम जाते हैं इंडिया. You know, मुंबई जात चलते हैं and घर लेते हैं उधर. Because we were in Dubai all this while, right? तो घर लेते हैं और बच्चों की पढ़ाई उधर करवाएंगे. Mm-hmm. So that's when my mom, my dad decided to stay in Dubai because he was a businessman. He couldn't. leave my mom took all three of us and went to india mumbai that's a very strong decision yeah. by your mother herself. right wow. and then ghar liya mumbai mein uh-huh. and then i was in a boarding school for one year uh, because mom was between dubai and mumbai trying to figure out her life or ghar lena hai or dad ka bhi dhyan rakhna hai bachcho ka bhi dhyan rakhna hai so she was back and forth between mumbai and dubai so chota bhai to tabhi chota tha kafi mm-hmm. but my older brother and me i'm the middle child we lived in a boarding school for one year till mom kind of settled down ghar le liya sab ho gaya then you know i i was out of boarding school but yeah i went to a catholic school i studied at an icse school in mumbai um i went to safaya's college so oh, that's yeah, a pretty famous but, one by the yeah, way if so, you were in mumbai can you know yeah so i'm from safaya's college and jab you know meri 12th khatam hui na to mom was like bahut saal ho gaye dad ke bagair reh ke abhi fir se dubai chalte so we went back to so dubai so you've been transitioning right back and forth yeah so then i went back to uh, we went back to dubai mumbai घर बंद करके सारे दुबई चले गए अच्छा इसके बीच में क्या हुआ जब मैं मुंबई में थी व्हेन आई वाज इन ग्रेट टेन फिफ्टीन इयर्स की थी आई मेट अ गाय सो आई मेट हिम एंड यू नो यू आर सो यंग यू आर फिफ्टीन एंड 17 में डिसाइड किया कि वापस दुबई चल रहे हैं तो अभी क्या हुआ हमारी लव स्टोरी तो पॉज पे आ गई बिकॉज ही वॉज इन मुंबई स्कूल की लव स्टोरी ही है बट ही इज नॉट फ्रॉम माई स्कूल ही वॉज वे सीनियर देन मी उसकी तो स्कूल कॉलेज सब हो गई हो गई थी हो गई थी हाँ वो वी जस्ट हैपन टू मीट थ्रू अ कॉमन फ्रेंड बट फिर तो यू नो वो टाइम पे तो ऐसा लगता था कि बस प्यार ही सब कुछ है दिस इज माई लाइफ दिस इज वॉर आई वॉन्ट राइट तो या वी कैप्ट इन टच एंड मॉम मॉम से बात की कि यू नो आई लाइक दिस गाय एंड मॉम इज लाइक तेरी उम्र ही क्या है अभी तो तू सत्रह अठारह सी सेवनटीन शी इज लाइक पढ़ाई तो पूरी कर यू नो उसके बीच में यू नो वी वर टॉकिंग ही केम टू दबाई टू विजिट मी एंड फिर बस ऐसा टाइम आ गया था कि एक दूसरे के बगैर अब रह नहीं सकते इतना प्यार इतना प्यार सो देन आपको लगता है कि उस समय का प्यार वॉज एक्चुअली यू नो वी कैन कॉल इट प्यार सच वाला प्यार क्योंकि Not that I'm saying कि आजकल का प्यार इज वेक बट आजकल कितनी सारी चीज़ें आ गई यू नो दिस सोशल मीडिया यू कॉन्स्टेंटली ऑन योर फोन यूर चैटिंग बट एट दैट टाइम या इवन वेन आई स्टार्ट डेटिंग आई लाइक टू शेयर कि हम लोग फोन पर लंबी लंबी बातें करते थे रात रात को लंबे लंबे कॉल्स चलते थे ऐसे कुछ यू नो एडल्ट्रेशन नहीं थे राइट एंड यू नो वट आज कल की लाइफ और पहले की लाइफ में the difference is aaj options bahut hai exactly there's a lot of options there's a lot of distraction distraction that is precise. what it is tabhi you know we didn't even have cell phones exactly. to ek dusro ki ek dusre ke phone ke liye intezar karte the ah. ek dusre se milne ke liye intezar karte the letters likhte the yes. i mean who really writes letters now <laughs> but that Nobody. was so beautiful yeah राइट सो या तो फिर बस डिसाइड किया कि बस एक दूसरे के बगैर नहीं रह सकते शादी करनी है टिकट ली प्लेन में बैठी 
कुछ भी नहीं नो कपड़े नथिंग मुंबई चली गई ही पिक्ड मी अप फ्रॉम द एयरपोर्ट ओ माय गॉड और यू लेफ्ट दुबई आई लेफ्ट दुबई किसी को बताया नहीं नॉट इवन योर मदर नोबडी ओ माय गॉड पासपोर्ट ली एयरपोर्ट गई टिकट ली प्लेन में बैठी और मुंबई चली गई आई वाज 18 दैट्स अ दैट्स अ वेरी दैट्स व्हाट आई सेड शी हैज बीन अ रेबेल एक बार जो थान लिया तो कर लिया बस थान लिया तो कर लिया सो या दैट्स हाउ इट हैपेंड so you came back to mumbai to be with him i came back to mumbai to be with him aur uske baad obviously drama family ka bahut hua i was disowned by my family koi mujhse baat nahi karta tha bola hamare bas do bete hain so you were muslim and uh, was he a muslim as well yes he is a muslim as well okay so how life changed because considering you were pretty young aajkal ke bachcho ki hum jab baatein karte hain the gen z generation that yeah. i would like to पीक ऑफ कहीं ना कहीं इनके ओपिनियंस खुद ही बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग होते हैं एंड यू नो दे आर एवरी वे दे नो दे मेंटली प्रिटी स्ट्रॉन्ग बट एट दैट टाइम ऐसा डिसीजन लेना बहुत बड़ी बात है इट मस्ट हैव बीन रियली हार्ड एट दैट टाइम यस आई डिड इट आई ऑब्वियसली आई डेंट थिंक इट वाज हार्ड क्योंकि मुझे ऐसा लगता है था द वर्ल्ड इज माय ऑयस्टर आई कैन डू व्हाटएवर आई वांट टू डू आई मीन अगर मैंने बेसिकली इफ आई डिसाइड टू डू समथिंग आई विल डू इट दैट्स द पर्सन आई एम राइट बट कर लिया तभी बाद में बहुत जल्दी रियलाइज हुआ कि बहुत बड़ी गलती की है हाउ अर्ली डिड यू रियलाइज दैट व्हेन यू वोंट बिलीव इफ आई से बट लिटरली विद इन 2 मंथ्स 2 3 मंथ्स तभी मुझे लगा कि इज इट वर्थ इट कि यू नो मैंने अपनी फैमिली को छोड़ दिया फॉर अ पर्सन आई मीन नॉट इवन सेटल हुज नॉट इवन सेटल लाइक यू नो अभी तो मैंने अपनी पढ़ाई भी नहीं पूरी की है अगर लाइफ स्टार्ट करनी है तो पहले पढ़ाई तो पूरी करनी है वॉट आर वी कैन डू यू नो प्यार वी आर एवरी थिंग गोज आउट ऑफ द विंडो अमृत अगर इफ दस नो फूड ऑन द टेबल डेफिनेटली सो यू नो तभी वो uh, समझ नहीं होती है बिकॉज यूर एटीन यू यू नो बट टूडे वेन आई थिंक अबाउट इट आई वॉज लाइक What the hell was I doing? Obviously, I was not thinking. If I was thinking, I wouldn't have done this, right? But the realization, he ho na. Some people don't go through that realization part, right? And and that's why I say that every experience in my life, I don't regret anything. It has taught me something. Today, I can say that to my son, you know, that do not rush into a relationship or commitment or marriage till you are not ready. it's so important to not spoil someone else's life exactly well. and your life as well they're two people and and in our culture in the indian culture it's not only two people it's the when you get married thing. it's two families getting married to one another right so definitely you know it was a learning lesson and it was an eye opener that never again and i would never advise somebody there's nothing wrong to love there's nothing wrong to get married to someone you love but doing it the way i did it i would never encourage anybody to do it so you're saying in two months you realized ki chalo galti ho gayi hai and then did you come back to your parents i called them i kept calling them you know tabhi to block walk ka zamana nahi tha kyunki cell phones nahi the you know i'm talking about 97 but ghar pe call karti thi mera vaas sunke phone rakh dete the अच्छा हाँ, कोई बात बात नहीं बहुत और मैं अपने डैड की लाडली हूँ एक ही बेटी हूँ यू नो दो भाइयों के साथ तो आई एम वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू माय डैड सो इट वाज वेरी हार्ड इट वाज वेरी हार्ड ब्रेकिंग बट पाँच छः महीने निकल गए फिर डैड को बोला कि डैड इधर कुछ नहीं हो रहा है आई वाज स्टेइंग विद हिम एंड यू नो इट वॉज टफ दो सिक्स मंथ्स वर वेरी टफ हालाँकि दैट सिक्स मंथ शुड हैव बीन माई हनी मून फेज but it was not out. right to be so 6 mahine ke baad dad ko bola ke dad dubai aana hai wapas please dubai call let me and him both come to dubai dubai jaane ke paise the nahi kuch bhi nahi tha how were you living for those 6 months i mean he he was he you know so he was very much into motorbikes mm. and um you know he used to run a garage in mumbai back in the day where he used to repair and upgrade or whatever you call it i'm not sure in the boys one yes yeah. all these motorbikes and yeah. these foreign bikes and so he he was working i mean he had a business he was running but you know nazo se pal palne wali jo ladki hai you know aake abhi suddenly it's Haan. like it's like you know, i just felt like exactly so it was difficult it mm-hmm. was an eye opener 
तो फिर डैड से बोला कि हमें वापस दुबई बुलाओ बुलाया दुबई वापस दोनों को बुलाया दोनों को दोनों को बुलाया उसकी विजिट वीजा बनाई मेरी तो वीजा थी उसको दुबई hmm. बुलाया हम लोग दोनों को दुबई बुलाया एंड बट इट वॉज वेरी कोल्ड यू नो वो रिश्ता पहले जैसा नहीं था सो इट वॉज लाइक यू नो बात भी चिड़के कर रहे हैं गुस्से में कर रहे हैं बात बात में बातें सुना रहे हैं इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड आई हैड टू यू नो आई हैड नो चॉइस बट टू एक्सेप्ट इट गलती की थी मैंने बहुत बड़ी गलती की थी सो अभी भुगतना तो है and then after that what happened Did, after uh, that the gussa shant hua ya the gussa shant ho gaya Achha. but gussa shant gradually hua when they realized ki you know galti maine ki hai ab main galti ko sudharungi to ya aapke jo shohar ji the ya aap hi ke sath aapke ghar mein reh rahe the so we were not staying with my parents hum log we took uh, you know we rented uh, just like a studio oh. in dubai okay. where we were living but rent to dena hai खाना तो खाना है अब यू नो शादी तो कर ली अब डैड से थोड़ी पैसे मांगूंगी तो यू नो पिकट अप अ जॉब वेरी पार्ट टाइम कैजुअल जॉब इवन ही पिकट अप अ पार्ट टाइम जॉब वी बोथ वर वर्किंग वी वर बेली मेकिंग एंड मीट यू नो मैं अठारह की ही वॉज ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड पढ़ाई भी मैंने पूरी नहीं की थी तो सिर्फ ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड कम्प्लीट किया था एंड यू नो वी मेड इट हैपन वी मेड इट वर्क इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट बट फैमिली के साथ स्लोली स्लोली यू नो फिर से चीज़ें ठीक होने लगी ही गॉट अ बेटर जॉब यू नो आई गॉट अ बेटर जॉब एंड आई रियलाइज दैट अभी जो हो गया वो हो गया अब आगे बढ़ना है आगे बढ़ना है परिस्थितियाँ ऑफकोर्स उस टाइम पे नॉट इन योर हैंड राइट इट वॉज जस्ट नॉट द राइट टाइम I hmm. think, you know, इंसान कभी गलत नहीं होता है वक्त गलत वक्त सही नहीं होता है या वक्त गलत होता है डोंट यू फील दैट यू नो वेन वन समन इज इट एटीन एंड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ गर्ल स्पेसिफिकली वी हैव अ टाइम ऑफ जॉय वी वी गो आउट वी हैव फन विद आर फ्रेंड यू नो वी इंजॉइंग आर लाइफ कम ऑन यू वी टीन एजर ऑफ कॉर्स यू स्टार्टेड एवरी थिंग सो यंग यू नेवर रियली गॉट दैट टाइम फॉर योर सेल्फ टू रियली इंजॉय या That's so you true. You actually miss on everything. I did. I definitely did. I missed out on the best years of my life when I should have been having fun, like you said, going out, the movies, movies, and you know, just having fun with your girlfriends or yeah. your friends, you know. But uh, I was married, and I was suddenly in a situation. Jidhar ab mujhe apna ghar sambalna hai, khana banana hai, kamana hai, bacha tabi tha nahi. Huh. At that point, he was not there, my child. But you know, itni sari responsibilities aa gayi thi, and you know, mujh me ek there was a junoon bolo ya fire bolo, jidhar where I felt ke maine I basically screwed up, you know. <laughs> in, at in, least you owned up to it. I owned up to it, and I realized that abhi mujhe I have to prove everybody wrong, prove everybody in a wrong in a way that. यू नो मैंने जो किया वो किया अब मैं कुछ करके दिखाऊंगी आपको कुछ बन के दिखाऊंगी आपको wow. शायद अगर वो मेरी लाइफ में नहीं होता मेरे में ये ड्राइव नहीं होता ये फायर नहीं होता मेरी लाइफ yeah. नॉर्मल होती uh-huh. तो 24 26 में मेरी अरेंज मैरिज किधर हो जाती और आज शायद मेरे चार बच्चे होते और मैं हाउस होती शायद पॉसिबल है इन अलवर्स राइट सो वन आई ट्राइंग टू सेट एवरी एक्सपीरियंस इन माई लाइफ पुष्ट मी टू uh be where i am today it all happened for a reason absolutely you know char paanch saal ke baad mujhe laga ke this marriage is not working bachcha nahi hua hai abhi it's good timing bachcha ho jayega you're kind of stuck you know so i realized that i want to leave and i spoke to my family and my family said no my family said ek to tune bhag ke shaadi ki hai ab paanch saal hue hai ab tujhe divorce lena hai log kya kahenge ये लोग क्या कहेंगे कि जो बात है ना वो सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है हमारे दुनिया में यू नो एक्चुअली कहने के लिए तो वी कीप सेइंग कि लोग क्या कहेंगे देखा जाएगा बट समहाउ इवन इफ इट्स नॉट अफेक्टिंग अस इट्स अफेक्टिंग समवन हुज बिहाइंड अस आवर पेरेंट्स या यू नो वी हैव टू थिंक अबाउट देम एज़ वेल सो ये लोग क्या कहेंगे यू नो पेरेंट्स बोले नहीं 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 अब तो बहुत एम्बेरसिंग होगा अब तूने शादी की अब नभाना पड़ेगा पूरा इंसान तो नहीं है ना you like he's not doing anything wrong with you and i said no but we i i just don't feel anything now anymore you know i just grown i've grown we've grown apart hmm. so nahi support kiya <laughs> to maine ghar chhod diya fir se apne apni married life ka jo married life ka ghar chhod diya 
फैमिली को बोला आप लोग नहीं सपोर्ट करोगे इट्स ओके मैं काम कर रही हूँ मैं रहूंगी किधर रेंट लेके एक रूम लेके रेंट पे रहूंगी एंड आई डेड इट यू डेड इट आई डेड इट आई लव द हाउस एंड फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स आई वॉज बाय माई सेल्फ आई वॉज वर्किंग आई वॉज स्टेइंग बाय माई सेल्फ पेरेंट्स व वेरी मैड एट मी सो दे वर नॉट टॉकिंग टू मी बिकॉज मैंने फिर से घर छोड़ दिया था कि यू नो ये लड़की क्या करेगी ये कि क्या, क्या हमें हमारा मुंह कालवा काला करवाती है हमेशा <laughs> But, नहीं, लेकिन आपने ऑफिशियली तो डिवोर्स नहीं लिया। नहीं डिवोर्स नहीं लिया था बट इट वाज लाइक सेपरेशन बेसिकली जिद थी कि बस अभी नहीं रहना है मुझे यू नो देवर सम फैक्टर्स किया तभी एंड देन एज सुन एज वी गॉट बैक टूगेदर दैट्स वन आई गॉट प्रेगनेंट वॉज दिस डिसीजन मेड बाई योर पेरेंट्स क्योंकि कई बार हमारे मम्मी पापा यू नो दे I'm not saying old school of thought. Old school thoughts होते हैं कि mm-hmm. आप बच्चा कर लो आपके बीच में सब कुछ ठीक हो जाए बिल्कुल वॉज दिस सजेशन बाई दैम यस यू नो प्रोबली समवेयर दैट यू नो यू नीड टू यू नीड टू एक्सपैंड योर फैमिली नाउ तुम लोग दोनों के बीच में बहुत हो गया अभी नाटक झगड़े बहुत हो गया mm-hmm. अब बच्चा लाओ यू नो बच्चा करो यही लास्ट या सो देन यू नो आई हैड अ चाइल्ड इवन दैट वॉज वेरी यंग देन आई वॉज जस्ट ट्वेंटी फोर but it's the best thing that happened in my life by far the best thing you know one thing that i would never regret about my marriage is my child you know he happened right so um yeah so i had him at 24 it was it was a beautiful pregnancy actually let me change that it was not it was it was a good pregnancy yeah. but uske beech mein bhi bahut jhagde hue pregnancy mein bhi yeah so it was tough what, but what, uh, what kept you strong i would have uh, if i was in your situation uh, i swear i would have just left everything <laughs> you know shayad tabhi uh, like I, i was a rebel but at the same time um, you know it itne options bhi nahi the tabhi you know aisa aisa mujhe bhi bahut pressure feel hota tha ki uh, shaadi young age mein ki fir chhod diya ab bachcha ho gaya hai ab kya karu exactly so it was i was in a situation where abhi to kuch bhi ho jaye ab to chalani hai shaadi ab to bachcha ho gaya hai you know for the Why sake of the child a like nurturing right? feeling hoti hai a mother's mein that is true but Why are we so scared? Well, yeah. Why is this inbuilt? You think it is somewhere. definitely. You know, women are. You know, they say women, men and women are wired very differently. You know, we are very different. We are we are definitely more sensitive, more emotional, and not that men cannot be, but we are definitely more. We have that nurturing uh, quality in us. एक कहीं ना कहीं एक टिमिट फीलिंग आने लग जाती है ना राइट माय बेबी विद मी व्हाट एम आई गोइंग टू डू या एंड टू सपोर्ट माय बेबी आई कैन गो टू एनी एक्सटेंड राइट इवन इफ आई हैव टू गिव हिम वन मोर चांस दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी बीन गिविंग या तो यू नो इट वाज डिफिकल्ट बट अगेन लाइक आई सेड यू गॉट टू कीप मूविंग यू गॉट टू फाइंड अ सॉल्यूशन प्रॉब्लम्स तो सबके लाइफ में सॉल्यूशन ढूंढना बहुत जरूरी है एंड द ओनली वे यू कैन मूव ऑन इज बाय फाइंडिंग सॉल्यूशंस एंड यू नो हाउ यू कैन मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड मेक थिंग्स बेटर एंड आई गेस आई कंटिन्यू डूइंग दैट एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड व्हेन आई गॉट बैक टू वर्क आफ्टर माय चाइल्ड वाज बोर्न यू नो things just started getting better at work you know i started growing in my career uh you know uh, his uh, my husband then my ex husband started growing as well in his career but uske beech mein ek period aisa bhi aaya tha jidhar he was not working and i was supporting the house for almost a year you know ghar to chalana hai na ghar to chalana hai aur nani lana bhi easy nahi hai you know at that time i'm talking about 21 years back mm-hmm. be it might be very common hmm. but then in that uh, at that time you know even to sponsor a nanny and stuff you had to be at a certain uh, position position and a certain you know income to be able to sponsor a nanny yeah right so uh, you know by god's grace uh, we were able to do that hmm. but uh, you know when my son was a year old uh, from his age 1 to 2 if i'm not mistaken i was running the house my my husband did not have a job so you know paying the nanny running the house uh, dubai is not a, a cheap place to live in definitely um not. you know it was it was a lot of struggle i i can i can say that it it hasn't been an easy ride so how how canada happened is uh, so so just fast forwarding a little bit in dubai uh we we had a great life so when my son was about i would say um eight maybe six around six to eight years old that that phase 
we had a great time in Dubai because my uh, his dad was doing very well in Dubai. He was a realtor in Dubai. He was making good money. I was at a good position. I was the country manager and, you know, I worked for a multinational cosmetic company. So I was doing very well. Um, you know, I was traveling a lot for work. I was going three times a year to Paris. Uh, so, you know, for work. So we were traveling a lot. You know, he would come along. Uh, we did a lot of trips to Europe at that time. So everything was great. Things were looking good. And then he was like, Canada chalte. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. So Canada chalte. Canada kyu jana either. Life kitti perfect hai. Nanny hai. Parents hai. My brothers were there. My friends no were tax. there. <laughs> yeah. No tax. Exactly. It was a great life. And then, uh, you know, he was like, nay, nay. The, the problem with Dubai is, and most of the people leave the Middle East is because you don't get a citizenship in the Middle East, yeah. right? I was born there. My son is born there. But yeah. still, you know, we were not citizens. Yeah. We are always on a visa. So if you don't have a job or if nobody's sponsoring you, you have to leave the country. So you never secured. There's never security, social security, job security. So people want to leave and call some place their home. We had two choices. Ya to kidar, you know, Canada, ya Australia, ya New Zealand jao. Tabi mm -hmm. that was open for immigration. Ya go back to India. Go back to India was an absolute no. Absolute Because no. I was like, abhi itne saal bahar rahe ke India mein nahi, nahi, you know, we won't be able to settle in, in India. So even in the economy part, if, if you would like to put it up straight. Yeah, probably. We didn't think too much, but we just thought that we won't, we won't fit in in we India anymore. In. Mm -hmm. Dubai rahe ke, abhi, yeah. It's very difficult to settle and fit in in India. So, you know, Canada, ke liye chalo, apply karte. I was not too keen, but uh, my ex-husband was very keen at that time to apply. Karte. So my brother, his wife, my ex-husband and me, we all four applied together. We went to an immigration consultant. We applied. I was the principal applicant. Applied here because I was at a very good position. So, you know, marks, points usme zada milte. Oh, you were the principal I was the applicant. principal applicant. That's so, um, yeah, we applied and uh, ho gaya. Do teen saal mein, everything started happening, just falling in place. And it I didn't took even... took you three years. Back. I think it took about two to three years, if two I'm not mistaken. Years. Canada, I hum log... Uh, 2009, mein, we did our landing, got our PR cards, went back to Dubai, wound up everything. And 2011, I moved here. I moved to Vancouver, actually. All That's right. where we moved. So my husband, my son and me, all three of us moved to Vancouver in 2011. And then when we came here, life had to start all, all over again. From the scratch. From the scratch. Mera jitna experience tha, everything was on paper. I worked for two big multinational companies in Dubai. All my experience was on paper. Nobody knew me in Canada. Nobody knew who Rashida is. But do they keep this in account? Wherever you go for a job, you're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Kya wo is cheez ko account mein rakte hai? Is that, you know, you've been working for such big brands. Of course, welcome. Yeah, they Were do. They but at the same time, they also say, but you have no Canadian experience. I do not understand why right. has this, this been happening. Right. And you have faced this. Yes. You're a living example. So, aapko is cheez se bahar nikalne mein kitna time laga? Well, I had to take a few steps back to be where I am today after I moved to Canada. So, I worked for Hudson's Bay as the cosmetic manager, okay. the beauty manager for one year. And when my boss interviewed me, he said, where do you see yourself in the next three years? Hmm. And I was so honest. I said, I'm giving this job only one year. One year. <laughs> I do not want to lie to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest to you. Retail is not what I want to do. I've always been on the vendor side. So I don't want to be in retail. I don't want to be working mall hours. I have a child. I'm new in the country. I'm going to give this one year. I'm doing this to put my foot back in the industry. And he was shocked. Like he couldn't believe I actually said that in an interview. Because if it was anybody else, they would have said, you know what, she's a great candidate, maybe. But I don't think so. She's not going to give us more than a year. So why why invest in why her? Why to invest? But do you feel like strong women are so much appreciated in the industry? In any industry, regardless. In the beauty industry, in yeah. Bollywood, in yeah. Hollywood. Mein hai. Strong minded women. Yes. Are they appreciated? Uh, yes and no. And the reason I say case. that is that, you know, a like-minded woman, a like-minded strong woman will appreciate another strong woman. And these days with everything like women empowerment and women speaking up for women and, you know, it's, it's becoming, it's really coming into the limelight. But back in the day, when you think about it, if somebody was successful, there were a lot of people that were ready to 
you know, bring you down because yeah. they were not happy with your success. I mean, it still happens somewhere. It still happens. But I think more and more, I think women are supporting women. And that is so important. That is so important. So important. You know, when somebody looks beautiful, give them a compliment. So coming back to my interview, I told them, um, you know, I'm going to give you one year. I want to grow. This mm. is not what I want to do. I've done much more than this. Mm. And they probably took me on thinking that, you know what, maybe she can grow within the company, hmm. you know, with Hudson's Bay. It's a big company. I joined them. And this is what I meant by manifestation. I said it. That's what I thought. And that's what I wanted to happen. 11th month, mein, I got a job offer from the same company that I worked for in Dubai, in Canada. I got a job in the same company, but I had to go back two or three steps even in the same company, because that was a position available at that time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not letting it go. Of course. I'm going to grab the opportunity. I'm going to grab the right opportunity and I'll work my way up. Wow. And you, I did it. That clarity you always had in your mind. Yes. I'm clear that I have to steps and mm -hmm. I know. Wow. Yeah. And, and within, I think, four or, no, sorry, six years of being in that company, the same company here in Canada, mm. I won two awards in the company for, you know, uh, excellent work and uh, great sales. And then uh, my boss retired. So I the took her position. The same one who said that, who interviewed you? Yes, the time. same boss at that time who interviewed me. Okay. She retired. So mm. I got her position as a regional sales director mm. in the company. And uh, yeah, and then there's been no looking back. How did you feel? How, how was the, what was the feeling altogether? Um, it was a beautiful feeling, you know, when you get something that you want so badly and when you get it, um, it's a great feeling. And I have nothing but, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, like, I'm very grateful for how my life has been uh, in Canada uh, for the last few years. It's, it's been great. So how was Vancouver? And then you came to Toronto? <laughs> There's been so many things in my life. So Vancouver, aane ke baad, um, you know, saal mein laga ke char saal mein, you know, my, my ex-husband and me grew even more apart, you know, starting a new life. And, you know, we just got busy in our work. And I don't know, I just realized that there's no point being together anymore. You know, there came a point where I was going everywhere alone. We had a lot of common friends, obviously, because we were still one unit. Mm. But uh, I used to, I started going and socializing alone without him because he wouldn't want to come with me. So then I just realized that what's the point of staying in a relationship where you're not happy, where you're not even together as a couple? People can see it, even when you don't tell them. People could see it. It was People very evident mm. that we're not okay. So again, one fine day, we talked about it a few times and he never thought I would leave. I told him, I said, I'm moving out. And he was like, what do you mean by you're moving out? And I said, there's no point of us living together. I think, you know, the time has come. And he said, you mean you need a break? And I was like, no. So he basically said, you left me a few days ago. Yes. I was like, you know, I'm very angry. I'm going to get angry. So, you know, maybe she needs a break. And I was like, you know, maybe she needs a break. And I was like, no, I think that's it. And we were married for 20 years at that point. So I just decided to move out. I went and I rented a basement after living in a big house with my husband mm -hmm. then. I went and I rented a basement and uh, basement mein rahi udar and, uh, you know, I, I, I told him, uh, let's just get separated. Let's file for divorce. And um, obviously he was very mad. It was He was angry. It hurt his male ego that she left me uh, for good this time, she's saying. Mm -hmm. But he thought, Wo mana ke wapas le So, you know, he was not ready to go to the court yet. Um, and he tried to make you a lot. I will not lie. But at the same time, when he thought that she was not going to she's made up her mind. And, uh, you know, I wanted to go to court because itne saal se jo bhi humne banaya tha, ghar bhi banaya tha, dono ne milke banaya tha. Hmm. Even if you're a housewife, technically by law, you are allowed to, you know, take half of what your husband has, if not more. But humne to dono ne saath mein sab kuch milke banaya tha, to wo ghar mein utna hi mera share tha. To, you know, it was a little about, you know, the money part, hmm. you know, financials, ke ghar kaun lega, 
अगर घर किसको रखना है घर आपने खरीद लिया था क्या खरीद लिया था या खरीदा हुआ था घर रेंट okay. होता तो फिर तो इजी था वी हैड वी हैड बॉट अ हाउस वी हैड फर्स्ट अ कॉन्डो देन वी सोल्ड दैट देन वी बॉट अ हाउस दैट यू विल मूव आउट ऑफ द हाउस एंड लिव इन अ बेसमेंट बेसमेंट रादर देन हिम लिव इन द हाउस he wouldn't leave because he he was he was he was very comfortable in this relationship theek hai nahi jam rahi hai nahi jam rahi hai abhi this is what it is you know whereas i have always been the person who always looks forward to you know what's next hmm. i'm never i'm never contented not in a bad way in a good way ke ab ye ho gaya this milestone is achieved what's I'm next i'm going to explore more i'm going to explore more so i am that person you know whereas he is very contented with his life कि हम कर लिए कि नाइन टू फाइव जॉब पे जाना है घर आना है टीवी देखना है खाना खाना है सो जाना है वेरी सेटिस्फाइड आई वाज दैट अ रेड फ्लैग फॉर यू समहाउ ओह बिग टाइम बिग रेड देयर वर मेनी रेड फ्लैग्स इन द ट्वेंटी इयर्स ऑफ मैरिज देयर वर मेनी रेड फ्लैग्स बट यू नो यू गॉट टू मेक इट वर्क समटाइम्स टिल यू रियलाइज दैट दैट्स इट यू कैन डू इट एनी मोर सो मूव्ड आउट ऑफ द हाउस वेंट टू द बेसमेंट स्टेड इन वन ईयर इन अ बेसमेंट uh he was not willing to give in so i had to go to the court i had to hire a lawyer baat ko ab tak pahunch gayi yeah i had to hire a lawyer you know i told him let's do this uh, mutually and respectfully we have a child you know we don't hate each other Th- that's not the that's that's not the case but let's just make make it you know move on in a uh, in a dignified way mm-hmm. and uh, be respectful for our child as well नहीं माना समझ नहीं आई जब कोर्ट गई एंड व्हेन ही गॉट अ कोर्ट नोटिस दैट्स व्हेन ही रियलाइज दैट ओ माय गॉड अभी तो लॉयर को बहुत पैसे देने पड़ेंगे एंड आई टोल्ड माय सेल्फ आई टेक यू टू कोर्ट आई विल एक्चुअली गेट मोर नॉट फिफ्टी आई विल डिमांड फॉर मोर आई एम नॉट आफ्टर मनी जस्ट गिव मी माई बेसिक राइट्स जो भी अपना है हाफ हाफ कर लेते और खुशी से यू नो सेपरेट हो जाते हैं चाइल्ड आपके पास ही रहेगा नो इट वॉज शेड कस्टडी सो यू नो बिकॉज ही वॉज ओल्ड इनफ एट दैट पॉइंट ही वॉज आई थिंक फिफ्टीन फोर्टीन और फिफ्टीन सो ही वॉज ओल्ड इनफ तो या इट वॉज शेड कस्टडी फिर यू नो जब सब सेटल हो गया देन आई बॉट अ प्लेस ऑफ माई ओन ही स्टिल लिवस इन द सेम हाउस आई बॉट अ प्लेस ऑफ माई ओन इन वैंकूवर एंड देन वो घर में जब थी तब प्रमोशन हुआ था दैट्स वेन आई गॉट प्रमोटेड इन द सेम कंपनी आई टोल्ड यू माई बॉस रिटायर्ड तो प्रमोशन हुआ दैट्स आफ्टर माई डिवोर्स आई गॉट प्रमोटेड आई बॉट अ हाउस यू नो एंड मी बींग द पर्सन हु ऑलवेज यू नो वट्स द नेक वट्स नेक्स्ट वट्स द नेक्स्ट माइल स्टोन तो और बड़ा घर चाहिए अब यू नो फैमिली को इधर बुलाना है पेरेंट्स आएंगे छः महीने रहेंगे गेस्ट रूम तो चाहिए you know i was just living in a in a town house which was the varan aapki family se jo aapki baatein hoti thi were yeah. they on good terms with you very good terms so you know obviously wo to initially start mein do teen saal was difficult when Kain we got married ye dekh ke ki hamari beti ne hame proud to bahut mehsoos karaya yeah, whatever and, the decisions were and you know what jab maine jab when i decided to move out of the house and file for divorce i have to say my family was very supportive unko zyada fikr thi they were worried ki she is all alone in a country you know jidhar hamari koi family nahi hai we have no not even extended family ye kaise manage karegi but i had to explain to them that itni saal your Kaliye. daughter is a fighter you know she's managed everything all this while even when i was married i was always wearing the pants in the relationship always <laughs> that's been the case that's my personality not because i want to but because i had no other choice main nahi karungi to kaun karega this yeah. has been the the most beautiful conversation i had being a woman myself mm-hmm. uh bahut hi inspiring hai bahut hi moving hai but ek cheez hai apne emotions pe control hona bahut zyada important hai yeah there must have been times jab aap bahut zyada emotional rahi hongi rona bhi aaya hoga you were angry that everything is falling apart yes and look at me i cannot even cry for once i have to go and fight again and yeah. again every day uh, you know amrit i would be lying if i say that i haven't cried the journey here has not been easy it's been a very difficult journey actually difficult journey and i'm sorry but i'm teary eyed yeah, right no, now please, but please take some it is it is the reality of my life you know i've i've had to cross sorry i'm a cancerian 
Oh. I'm very emotional. <laughs> so you I cry really love. easily, oh right? Oh my God, yeah. I didn't know this before. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, sorry about that. But, uh, you know, when this thing happens, it's very close to my heart. Uh, it's been a tough journey. You know, there has been a lot of moments where I've broken down, where I have uh, closed myself in a room um you know there was a time when i separated from my ex husband and we had a lot of common friends obviously you know people well wishers i would like to say were trying to reach out to me to say that are you okay hum what can we do to bring you guys back together you know uh how can we help so they were all trying to help but at as there's a certain point in your life where you don't want help you don't you want, want to be left alone and i was at that point in my life where i wanted to be left alone nobody's been in my shoes i know what i have been through this has been my journey you know only what i've told you or what i've shown you so you know for me to take this decision it's brought me to this point to be able to make this decision where 20 years ki shaadi i am like that's it i am done you gave it enough i gave it enough right you know don't forget my child at that point was i think 13 or 14 if i'm not mistaken it was 8 years back but he cried a lot he's a very emotional child as well he cried and you know as a child he was not feeling he was getting that insecurity you know the feeling of insecurity where you know mom and dad are not together now mera kya hoga it's very normal oh right so to having having seen my child go through that was heartbreaking too because i'm like i had to keep explaining to him that this is between mom and dad whatever happens between us we'll always be your mom and dad mm-hmm. and nothing will change in your life if anything think of it this way you'll have the best of both worlds apne respect respectfully your decision liya because of course nobody wants ki aapka khud ka bachcha aap kya हस्बैंड के बारे में एक्सहस्बैंड के बारे में कुछ भी गलत बोल दे बिल्कुल यू वांट इट टू ऑल टू बी वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुल एंड आई हैव नेवर एनकरेजड इट होता है कभी यू नो वेयर द चाइल्ड कम एंड सेस के डैड ने ऐसा बोला या डैड ने वैसा बोला और आई एम सो मैड विद डैड यू नो हाउ किड्स आर टीनेजर्स ही वाज अ टीनेजर uh and sometimes maybe they take advantage as well when they see the parents are not together you know mom ko aake kuch aur bol raha hai dad ko jaake kuch aur bol raha hai but i have always made sure that you know he's very respectful to his father his father kai baar bachche after divorce not always kai baar bachche galat direction mein chale mm-hmm. jaate hain because of the circumstances mm-hmm. because of the blame game that is happening within mother father ek dusre pe blame karte hain do you think ye kahin na kahin sahi hoti hain cheeze or mother and father are to be blamed i'm not talking about you i'm talking mm-hmm. in, gen- in general well I wouldn't always blame the parents. Mm. It's not true because I'll take my example. Mm. You know, I think I've had a beautiful upbringing. My parents have done a great job mm. and they've done their best. Mm. But look what I did. When I was 18, I eloped and I got married. Mm. Abhi jo bhar wale the, jo rishtedar the, jo dost the, un log ne kya bola hoga ki bahut bigad ke rakha tha isko. Bahut bigad ke rakha tha. Dekho isne kya kiya. which is not true bilkul main bigdi hui nahi thi you know in fact my mom always says ki teeno bachcho mein se i have been the most quiet shant one the most obedient child and look what i did so why should my parents be blamed for what i did so it's not always true mm-hmm. sometimes it can be true mm-hmm. that you know uh, the parents might have spoiled their child and because of that the child has gone on the wrong path kafi toxic ho jati ho jata hai possible hai but it's not always the case not always parents are to be blamed absolutely what is rashida into right these days well so i was in vancouver for 14 years hmm. when i do saal pehle i think in my 11th or 12th year i you know again me being me i want to go to toronto and people are like why do you want to go to toronto like you got a great job in vancouver mm-hmm. you're settled you have a beautiful house uh you know everything is perfect why do you want to go to toronto because i want to grow in my career and in my industry all the corporate offices are either in new york or toronto 
Who is it? Right. So if I was, if I stayed in Vancouver, I would have probably retired in the position that I was in. And I felt I have a lot more to achieve yet. So Toronto so, happened. I, so I felt like Toronto is the hub. If I want to grow up the corporate, grow the corporate ladder, I have to be in Toronto or New York. Hmm. Toronto was easier being in Canada. So I decided I wanted to come to Toronto. So I started looking for jobs and, you know. You I started even, looking I for started, job and this again? Was, yeah. So I started because I started looking at if there are any opportunities in Toronto within the industry. And I even let my my com- office know that I'm very interested in moving to Toronto. So they were very aware that I wanted to move to Toronto. Mm. And I said, if there's any ever any opportunity opportunity in Toronto, please do, you know, uh, run it by me because I would love to be there. So two years ago, I was running in my mind. I was running in my hand, I was running in my mind. I was running in my mind. I was keeping my eyes and ears open that Toronto had an opportunity. Mile. And in 2022, December, my office called me and they said that there would be an opportunity next year coming up in Toronto. Would you be interested? And I jumped. I said, yes, I want to be in Toronto, even without thinking. Hmm. And uh, yeah, so I moved my way, uh, you know, moved to Toronto in May last year, in 2023 May. Recently. Recently. And you believe me, you don't believe me. I made my heart and love with my Vancouver house. Oh. You know, I always thought that this is the house I would retire in. I love my house. It was beautiful. I have great friends there. I have changed my style of Vancouver. I will make it a little beautiful. So I went to my son and he's in university now. And I was like, listen, I've got an op- opportunity in Toronto. Um, so I will be moving next year. And he said, mom, what do you mean by you're moving next year? What about me? And I said, well, you have two choices. Either you move with me and continue your studies in Toronto. Or you stay here, finish your studies, stay with your dad, finish your studies, and then join me in Toronto. Hmm. So I think it just made more sense for him to stay back because he finishes this year in August, his post-grad dipl- diploma. Uh, so uh, he decided to move in with his dad. Hmm. I spoke to his dad. I said, he'll be moving in with me, with you for one year. I'm moving to Toronto. So yeah, I just literally packed up everything, everything, and moved to Toronto. And then I came in April. So May me move hona tha. April me I ghar dekha. Yeah. You know where am I going to live? I didn't know anything about Toronto. Don't tell me you lived in an apartment. I am living in an apartment. But I'll tell you <laughs> what happened. So I've been to Toronto many times because my office is here. But I've I've never really lived in Toronto. So came in April. You know, met a realtor. Told him to show me some places. And I was like, I'm not ready to buy yet. Let me figure out my bearings, where I want to live, which area. Toronto is big, right? Yeah. My office is, you know, I want to be close to my office, but at the same time, I want to be close to the hub of yeah. everything, right? So I I rented an apartment. Mm-hmm. I signed a one-year lease. Mm-hmm. And I'm staying in an apartment. I have a three-floor house in Vancouver. Where do I put all my stuff? <laughs> and what am I going to do with that I'm house? I'm really surprised. <laughs> manage and this? all alone. So... I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Should I sell or should I keep my house? At that point, people were like, don't sell. You know, property banna easy nahi hai. Mm. Keep your house. D- decide next year. Maybe you don't like it in Toronto. Maybe you want to come back. Mm. So I kept my house. I found a property manager there. I rented my house to somebody there. So I have my house in Vancouver. I moved to Toronto. I'm renting an apartment. But itna sara saman kidar rakhu. <laughs> So then I bought a two-bedroom apartment. Mm. So I have a one-bedroom as a storage room where literally my whole Vancouver house is in that one bedroom. It's stacked up to the ceiling. And <laughs> I am just one person. So I'm staying in a one-bedroom oh apartment. Oh my God. Your life is like a movie. It's a movie, movie right? It's entertaining. It's pretty entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> pretty entertaining. <laughs> But, uh, you know, uh, yeah. And Abhi, it's almost been nine months in Toronto. Time has flown. And the plan is that... Um, I want to buy a property in Toronto in 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 fall. So that's And my I'm sure that is happening very soon. That's since... my next milestone. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. You yeah. you you're like a butterfly. You're like a butterfly. Yeah, right? To actually and, be precise. And and I forgot to tell you the most important thing. Me me Toronto I and is ye soch se aayi ki mujhe grow karna hai apne career mein. February mein this month. Mera promotion ho gaya, eight months mein. Really? Yes. To the one uh, 
to the company that you joined. The same company that I'm working for. It's the same company. I just moved from Vancouver from to Toronto. From Vancouver to Working in the same company and I got promoted. My, my plan was that in the next two years, I need to be one step up. That's my goal. And in eight months, God has been so kind to me. I got a promotion and I just got promoted to, you know, the national sales manager. Yeah. So it's just been a wonderful ride. It's been bumpy, but it's been fun. Jolly good try. Yes. (laughs) Toronto has been fun. I think the last nine months have been great. Uh, They haven't been easy though. Because the first two or three months, you know, pehle to mein ek week aake aap believe nahi karoge. I didn't have anything. I didn't even have a chair to sit on. So, you know, it, it's not been easy. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that it's been difficult and not knowing anybody or all alone. But you were alone. up for it every time. I knew like it. I'm I knew it's going it. to be a challenge. Hmm. I knew it's not going to be easy and I was ready for it. But being ready for it and having to live it are two different things. <laughs> you know, you can be ready to... For it mentally, but actually, jabo hota hai, you were like, "Oh my God, this is worse than I thought it would be." Us mattress me late late, you have thought that it will be better than I thought it would be. Us mattress me late late, you have thought that it will be better than I thought it would be. Us mattress me late late, you have thought that it will be better than I thought it would be. Us mattress me late late, you have thought that it will be better than I thought it would be. Us mattress me late late, you have thought that it will be better than I thought it would be. Us mattress me late late, you have thought that it will be better than I thought I just felt blood rushing to my head. I sat down mm-hmm. and next I know I was on like, I don't know how many minutes it was left. I just passed out. It was a panic, anxiety, panic attack. You could not really contact anyone no, at that time. No, no. So, you know, it's not easy living alone. It's nice, but it's not always easy because your biggest fear would be, if something happened, nobody would even know till they're trying to contact me. Yeah, you ha- when you have no choice, then to be strong, you will be strong. And I think this goes for every person, every woman out there. You know, when jab apne thaan liye, when you have no uh, other choice or other way, then the only way is to move forward. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. But of course, we're not going to end here. We've done a lot of serious things. We've crossed all the chapters of life. Cross ke. Not of course, all the but uh, quite a uh, lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> एंड uh, वैसे भी जब दो लड़कियां मिल जाती हैं तो हम काफी बातें कर लेते हैं काफी लंबी दूर निकल जाते हैं लेट्स लाइटन दिस अप कुछ सवाल हैं आपके लिए सवाल फन क्वेश्चन ओके एंड वी कैन प्ले रैपिड फायर राउंड विद यू ओह I hope you're ready for I've it. I've only watched <laughs> Rapid Fire on uh, TV. Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't know I would be playing But it one day. But it's actually fun, it's fun, you know. Okay. One kadak reply for men who say we women get dolled up and put makeup just to impress them. So, um I would say BS. आप समझ गए होंगे मुझे बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है इफ यू वट बी स्ट्रैंडेड ऑन एन आईलैंड वट वुड बी दो थ्री थिंग्स यू विल टेक अलॉन्ग फॉर अ सर्वाइवल मोड एंड योर फोन इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन दैट सनस्क्रीन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई कैन लिव विदाउट दैट बट बेसिकली आई आई नीड या बट यूर एग्जैक्टली आई थिंक फूड very important how much food can you take <laughs> as much as i can i would take survival ke liye khana chahiye aur pani chahiye we need water and food that's the most important i think i can do with that any favorite piece of cloth that you would like to take along i can take with me all the stuff <laughs> suitcase <laughs> leke jao if i can piece <laughs> okay okay then i'd probably take a uh, you know pair of comfortable clothing Good. Yeah. Good. Actually, yes, me hai nahi. But if you want to be stranded on an island with someone else, some Bollywood celebrity, so <gasps> who would you like to? Be? John Abraham. Ooh. <laughs> That's quite a good He's choice. He's been my ultimate favorite. My ultimate crush. Oh my god. Not even Hollywood. Oh, and from Hollywood. Hollywood, I would say um, Chris Hemsworth. Hmm. If Rashida Kanji ever introduces a women's product never heard of before, वो क्या होगा? Instead of bringing something, hmm. 
आई विश आई कुड टेक अवे समथिंग समथिंग दैट यू फील कि अब इसका बहुत हो गया इसका जाना जरूर आई वुड टेक अवे ऑल द फिल्टर्स अवेलेबल डोंट डू दैट <laughs> I mean I am guilty of using them too. I am guilty of using but you know we've come to a point where Oh my god. Abhi kuch normal picture acha lagta hi nahi hai till you don't have a filter on it. Ek wo joke hai na ki ladkiyan aadhar card ki photo mein kuch aur lag rahi hoti hai. Aur jab milne aati Yeah I think like I said I'm guilty to it as well so it's something which which I wish would didn't I'm exist. I'm sorry but I am not going to agree on this. Okay, <laughs> living with filters, <laughs> I cannot live without it. Okay. If you get a chance to raid a Bollywood celebrity's wardrobe, who that celebrity would be? Deepika Padukone. Do you like her? Yeah, you know what? I think she's always dressed very elegant, very classy. I mean, there are a lot of celebrities that dress up well, mm. but I really always. love the pickup part of course she looks very comfortable in whatever she's right. wearing and and, you know? and she just carries it with so much grace so much grace absolutely how do you react when someone says stop playing your feminist card <laughs> that's a good one that's- i mean honestly by just telling them shut up shut up because you know i'm i'm so sorry you're not a woman true we know our fights yes <laughs> you do you we'll do that <laughs> absolutely you were talking about women empowerment and how women are so supportive these days and it feels good you know mm-hmm. we sh- we should be a good friend to other women and we should be uh, helping instead of pulling them down lekin aaj bhi agar aisi baatein hoti hain where you feel that ek aurat hi ek aurat ki sabse badi dushman hoti hai would you like to slam this statement or you agree that it still exist it exists partly hmm i wouldn't say i would completely slam it off hmm. because it does exist hmm. um but not fully that's not true because i totally believe that aaj ke time mein i think women are realizing that it's so important to support another woman hmm. it feels so good to be supported so why wouldn't you feel another woman make another woman feel supported, supported as well right so whatever you expect for yourself you have to reciprocate in the same way ye meri taraf se ek sawal hoga aapke liye kya ek message aap us rashida ko dena chahenge jo us din ghar se bhag gayi thi oh my god that's a big Being one so fearful in life mm-hmm. one message um i wish i would have realized I would like to tell that Rashida that family is first. You know family is everything. Um like I said pyar karna ya shaadi karna galat baat nahi hai lekin jis tarike se maine ki thi wo kaash mujhe tabhi koi samjha pata hmm. ke aisa mat kar. So I would tell that Rashida, 18 years old Rashida, mm-hmm. that don't do this. If you really want to get married to this person, try to convince your family, but do not leave the house. Beautiful. In my inside I'm clapping for you, but I'm going to do it very cheerfully as well. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you, thank you, thank you so much. It was so wonderful and empowering to put it straight, empowering to talk to you. And I really believe ki uh रशिदा एग्जिस्ट करती हैं उनके जैसे बनने की कोशिश मत करिए उनसे इंस्पायर जरूर हो जी हो जाइए एंड यू नो इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल जर्नी वट कैन आई से थैंक यू अमृत इट वॉज अ प्लेजर टॉकिंग विद यू आई हैव पोर्ड माई हार्ट आउट बट आई हैव बीन हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑनेस्ट इन यू नो हाउ माई लाइफ जर्नी हैज बीन एंड ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल द लिसनर्स इज दैट one thing i would like to tell the listeners is self love i think this is something that's so important everything begins from within from inside of you so that is very very important so if you do not love yourself you cannot love others so begin with yourself charity begins at home charity begins at home. absolutely Keep the fire alive thank yeah. you so much for coming and being our guest we really honored aur hum ye expect karte hain ki hum aage bhi aapse milenge and bilkul uh, of course we're going to share our beautiful moments someday 100% thank keep, you keep looking beautiful
and you as well. <laughs> Thank you.